All right, we have made it to downtown Tampere, Finland. Our hotel is right there. Uh, it is ready to be checked in. So we're gonna check in, uh, park the car somewhere, get some food, um, enjoy the city, give you guys a little glimpse of what it looks like before uh, we get inside. Okay, all the luggage has been dropped off. Um, it's all good in the rooms. Now we're gonna go and do some sightseeing. I know we have reservations for a restaurant at 1 p.m. It is 12:25 uh, right now. So half an hour. It's kind of like Helsinki, but this is the uh, second biggest city I have learned, or uh, population-wise, Tampere. It's 300,000 people that live here, and a very popular city. There's universities here and people come to study the university and they love the city and they stay so that's kind of what's going on here so it's like university town it should be cute I see a Pomeranian I see a I see a cloud a puffy little cloud I will make my opinion so we're at the restaurant now um, they uh, serve menus which to give you like an appetizer, a main, and a dessert. I got snails. Here, let's see some snails coming out. This fancy water bottle. Steak. Well, this is snails. This is the third time I had uh, escargot with snails. The best one so far. Very good. <laughs> Everyone's judging me for vlogging at the table. I call this judgmental with this. It's like, it's like a work of art. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look over here. Yeah. At your own plate. <laughs> yeah. So we just had some delicious food. Um, nice three course meal. Like I said I had snake snakes. <laughs> I had snails, a nice uh, beef steak and some panna cotta. It was delicious. Now we're in this giant mall. Just gonna do some shopping. Just uh, looking around window shopping I don't I don't, to, I don't have to buy anything but we'll see there is a like an espresso house looks kind of like a Starbucks I might get like an iced coffee and this this looks also interesting but I just had a dessert so I don't know if I want this it looks like it's like a ice cream burrito you can see up there like look at this thing ice cream chopper chops Strawberries, it looks like fruit roll up or something on there. After having like no sleep the last like week, these must shots chairs look very tempting, not gonna lie. But I'm gonna show you guys this little like tiki area. It's called Happy Times. make these uh, here or like rolled up ice creams tempting very very tempting uh, so we got a smoothie got the green frog it's mango papaya passion fruit some other citrus stuff chia seeds all the stuff it's really good I prefer a plastic straw I think it tastes a lot better from a plastic straw than uh, a paper straw but they don't believe um, in plastic straws in Finland <laughs> is it supposed to be that slanted looking it looks like it got pushed by wind or something yeah. <laughs> that's supposed to be like that <laughs> hard to say. it's an interesting looking bridge over there guys it looks like the leaning tower of Pisa but it's a bridge but apparently that's how it's supposed to be designed we're gonna walk on it soon so hopefully it's 
supposed to be that good. So, th like, this city had a lot of old factories in it. Some got refurbished into um, shopping malls and restaurants. Others are still functioning. It's factory, old town vibes. I don't have vibes. So this big white building is actually a big sauna and that's like a really popular thing here. Sauna or call it banya in the Russian language. Right? You want to just go in and you sweat your life away. Um, very popular in countries such as Finland. Um, every house that we went to pretty much had a sauna. Just every normal house had like a sauna in it. Um, our Airbnb had a sauna in it. Our hotel had a sauna in it. We'll see if this hotel has a sauna in it. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if we go to the airport tomorrow and there's a sauna room there too. Like, people love saunas over here. Interesting. It still looks slanted from here. Yeah, same no, not. Guess it's probably design. Or, I don't know, they like miscount or something. Because the poles look like it's on the ground and then it's pretty in the middle over here. So, I don't know why it's like that. A lot of rocks. I don't know if that has a, a reason for this. There has to be. Look at all these locks over here. So the story with the locks is you bring uh, your girlfriend on here and the lock is a symbol of your love together. So you guys put the lock on the bridge and you take the key and you throw it in the river. And that means you pretty much you are locked in and you're locked away forever. It's a metaphor, it's a symbolism. It's supposed to be very cute. So some of these locks have like the name of the guy and the girl on there. And it's supposed to be like a sim symbol of your never-ending love. <laughs> I wish there was numbers on there. I could just call some of these people who wanted to do the most like, rustiest lock and say, Yo, yo, Andy, are you and Emily still together? Yo, Josh, are you and Amanda still together? I see your lock on this bridge. How's it going? You know, be interesting. Oh, wow, look, there's a lot more over here. The locks are everywhere. Interesting. Let me know in the comments if you guys do that. <laughs> but people are like the dog Paul. That's what it's there for. <laughs> I know it's gonna happen. But it's the first time I heard about it. So. Hi guys. Happy Monday. If I look tired, it's because I am. <laughs> it's a really enough rough night of sleep. Um, it's 9 a.m. now. We're grabbing breakfast. It's okay because it's our last night here. Um, all you have to do today is just make it to the airport. <laughs> get a flight and come back home so and though I had a rough night shouldn't have too many consequences because not much to do today so, grabbing breakfast we got what we got the sausage meatballs kind of like dark looking sausage I wasn't adventurous enough to try that there are egg omelets here eggs beans and mushrooms and stuff. We had the, the bread station again. All the breads. Deli meat section. Cereal, I think, over there. That's what this is for. Look at all these. <laughs> so we basically put in the bread. Bread, bread, bread.
They do breakfast proper here, I'll give them that. Hotel breakfast food is no joke. No joke. All right, let's get some coffee. Somebody um, um, messaged me on the YouTube saying that they, they comped this machine, whatever this is called, Primulator, whatever this machine, and it's worth like 10 grand on eBay. <laughs> you guys crack me up, man. <laughs> I'll be sharing my adventures. You guys are comping things in the background. You guys are hilarious. You're hilarious. They have coffee. I don't know if they have anything cold, though. Hi, right, guys. Still tired, but we're now at the Helsinki International Airport. It's 12.51 p.m. Like I said earlier with Slavic parents and traveling <laughs> to New York, you wouldn't believe. I, so we passed security, right? Ready to go, pretty much go to their gate. It's 12.51. Here's a you guys can play a, a game with me. So when does our flight leave, right? If we're here at 1 p.m. and already passed security, already checked our bags in, already got our boarding passes, already <laughs> rented a car, return our car. When would our flight leave? Get put your guesses in. Let's see how close you guys are to uh, see how um, well prepared Slavic parents are. That's the word I will use. Um, the answer is our flight leaves at 5:20 p.m. We almost have like five hours, four and a half hours here <laughs> before our flight leaves. <laughs> you know, look, I tried to use logic and tell her like, hey, this is a little extreme. We don't need that much time. <laughs> you know, people say international flights get there two hours early, so you pass everything. No, we have to get here five hours early. So, you got five hours now to kill in the airport <clears throat> until, until, well, our flight board's like half an hour before that, so technically it's not five hours, but still. So uh, my mom's using the bathroom right now. We're gonna go fight our gate, uh, probably get some food. We have to go and exchange our money back into dollars. Um, took too much out uh, in the very beginning. I use my card more than anything. Some, some interesting rules here that we don't know. Um, the, at least the gas pumps that we try to fill up in don't take cash. I don't know that's like a Finland thing or just the gas station we still we tried at all card. So I took I took cash out, I like euros out for gas, the used card. Um, all the restaurants that I was gonna pay with cash for, all used card. So I, I use my card more than I use cash. So I think I took like 500 euros, and I think I have like 300 left. So we gotta return that. My parents gotta return theirs, and get dollars back, and then. Well, I don't know, maybe we got lucky too. Maybe this week that we were here, the dollar did really good and we will get more money back and we just play the system well too. No, that could happen. <laughs> dead, dead food, get some um, snacks and stuff for the road for, for the flight and then just wait for the plane to get there. That's much the plan. We have made it to a gate. Yeah, so whatever they said. Um, we have made it to our gate. <laughs> um, got plenty of time. Uh, Finnish airport has these like lounge kind of chairs on there. I'm not gonna lie, they're mad comfortable. Your attention please, passenger by name Anders Nygård. Hurry up to your gate number 45A. Your flight is leaving. <laughs> These announcements are so funny. Imagine being Andres newborn. You're like, oh crap, <laughs> my flight's leaving. Let me let me let me run to my gate. Um, so I've been here just lounging. I'm probably gonna get food eventually. Um, I do want to do a little taste test here for you guys because it has been requested by multiple people that I need to try um, Finnish black licorice. Now I'm not a fan of licorice usually, so I don't have high hopes for this but it's um, supposed to be like something Finland's known for. And this brand, um, Fazer, F-A-Z-E-R, is a um, Finnish candy brand. And so far, everything we try from it has been really good. So maybe that would help a little bit, but this is apparently like a Finnish treat. The people of Finland, or aka the Finns, they love it, but they say out of towners, not so much. So this is what it looks like. You know, when you, when you say black licorice, people in the United States, this is not what you experience to see. Usually you'll think of like Twizzlers, but they're black. But, alright, you guys nothing. 
My dad's laughing at me. <laughs> my, my dad's cracking up over there. If you guys can see him. Oh my goodness. No offense. I can't finish it. I, I can't. <laughs> that tastes like cough medicine. That straight tastes like medicine you take when you're sick. No, again, no offense, but that's the like Let's kill one of ten. That's like a point two, a point two out of ten. Why not try? Try what? It's, it's, it's poison. Poison. It could be poison. All right. <laughs> it's delicious. Okay. <laughs> You're not really chewing. It becomes it becomes it becomes better. <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> he wants to spit it out so bad. <laughs> you can keep those if it's for yours. My gift to you. <laughs> probably my, probably, you can make minutes in there, bro. Tastes like medicine, yeah. That was the way I cool quick. He wants to spit it out so bad. <laughs> he wants no parts of that. Zero parts. <laughs> Hi guys, we're about to board. Always a good omen when kids are crying, we're about to board. Always good news. Um, the priority people are boarding right now on our, our Finland flight. Um, got some lunch uh, with, my, with my mom, got some Chinese food. Um, I went live on this channel, so you guys caught that. It was kind of cool. Went live from the airport since we have pretty good service here. And now I'm about to fly home. So it's an eight hour flight, but it's only gonna feel like we're in the air for two hours, technically. I'm not gonna feel like that's the wrong thing. We're only losing two hours because of the time difference. So we're like flying through like a time warp or something. I don't know how to explain it properly. But, <laughs> uh, so uh, we're leaving here at 5 p.m. We're getting to New York at 7 p.m. By the time I get home, 9 p.m., 10 p.m., me mad late. <laughs> I have to, uh, Watch him call. I have to watch him call today, so I gotta make sure we do that to upload a, a video, Tuesday's video. Then I have to probably still edit Wednesday's video. Hope we get that done tonight or tomorrow before I fly back to Philly. But yeah, definitely a fun trip. Definitely needed a trip. Now we got some crazy week ahead of us again. After that, I'm back on the grind. I'm back on the grind.